All right, welcome to our show this week. It is September 1st, 2001. I can't believe it. It's a new month, right? I think it's a new month. Unbelievable. Uh, let's see, let's check our peanut gallery. We have, uh, ooh, Tim's here, hi Tim. Sandra's here, hi Sandra. And Jim's here, hi Jim. Uh, as usual, if you can hear me, make sure that all our electronics are working. It's about a 10 second delay from my mouth to your screen. So uh, let me know if you can hear me so we can get all the tech stuff out of the way uh, for September 1st. And let's see, today we have a special guest today. And uh, oh, Jim can hear me, Tim can hear me, and Sandra can hear me, everybody can hear me. So I think we are go for today. This technology, I do everything. I do the lights, the sound, I'm the actor, I'm the owner, I do everything. Actually, Audrey does some stuff. So uh, uh, let me bring Audrey in here. We can, oh, there she is. Hi, hon. Howdy. How's, how's the upstairs? Is it hot? Cool, very cool. Is it cool? Yes. Good air conditioners. Oh yes, we got some new air conditioners. So they are mm -hmm. running great. Uh, let's see, let me get our names in there. I'm trying to get all the show going here. Put our name, there we go. Nice. Now you know who we are. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about, our special guest today is uh, uh, Rob Allen, and he is the owner of Rangemaster shoulder pulleys, which I've used for years. So I can't believe we have him on here. He's going to be on in just a couple of minutes. Uh, and our quick win today will be on the shoulder pulley. Shoulder pulley. So I've got two shoulder pulley quick wins. Today, I'm going to do an actual five minute uh, real time limbering exercise with the uh, shoulder pulley. And that'll come nice. after, after we get Rob on here. So won't that be fun? Shoulders. And everybody has shoulder problems, right? Yes. When you're a sure. senior, you have shoulder problems. And Audrey has neck problems. That are related to shoulder problems. Related to the shoulder problems, yes. Because mm -hmm. the neck, neck bones connected to the shoulder bone and shoulder bones connected to the elbow bone. And the... Okay, we'll stop there. <laughs> cool. Yes, yeah. No, I just had some body work today, and it's very true that any, even wrist issues, like if you're tingling or you've got pinchedness, it all goes up the arm, goes to the shoulder, goes to the neck, starts right. up here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you saw your chiropractor, chiropractor? Mm, no, I had a birthday gift uh, of a hour long massage. Whoa. So, wow. So nice. And he worked it, on your shoulders? Uh, well, she worked on my shoulders and my legs and my arms, just an overall massage, which wow. is very nice for stress reduction and uh, just relaxing. And I wow. didn't go back to work this afternoon. So, no, I just, nice. Took a little time off. So you're there in a good go. space for our live stream today. I am ready to hear all about it. The right. shoulder range master. Yes. So we have, uh, well, let me go over new members. Actually, no, we didn't have any new members this week. So, oh no. So let me put my sad face on. So for new members, uh, no new members this week. Oh, I think I just have to get out and uh, I haven't been on the YouTube or uh, mailing. So I have to do a little bit more because if you build it, they won't come. Mm -hmm. So every time I do a mailing or I do a, a YouTube, we get some more visitors. But uh, yeah, nobody joined last week or last week. So, but we have a lot of, we had four the week before. So nice. This weekend, I will send out an email and I'll try to do some stuff. But uh, so we didn't have new members, but we do have a special, uh, special, special. Uh, where's where's my intro? Special we have guest. A special guest. All right. 
Our special guest is Rob Allen, and he's the owner of Range Master Shoulder Therapy. Uh, I think that's it, Range Master Shoulder Therapy. So this will be a fun uh, chat here. So if you have any shoulder questions, and I think we did get a shoulder question from Jim. Uh, so I'm going to bring on Rob without any further ado. And there he is. Let me put you in the middle of us here, Rob. There we go. Hey, uh, welcome, Rob. Appreciate you coming on our show. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Audrey. It's uh, I can tell I'm with the right group. There's a few little musical interludes going on here and some fun. <laughs> dun, 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 so, uh, dun, 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 dun. I break out a few little surprises myself before we're done. So. Oh, I know. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. Well, Rob just had me on his show, I think, last two weeks ago. I think it was on your show. And uh, you're returning the favor. So appreciate that yeah, very much. Well, easy to do because we both have a common interest in um, keeping people moving and, uh, and enjoying their best life. Uh, I'm a 70-year-old uh, cancer survivor, and, uh, and I got some longevity goals. And uh, so we both know that uh, in order to, to make it to, to finish off uh, strong, we've got to keep moving. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, so fill us in, tell us about your, you know, 70, you've done a lot of stuff in 70 years, I'm sure. Uh, how did you get involved with the uh, Range Master shoulder therapy uh, tools? Well, Range Master is my third career um, and it started back in 1997. Um, I'm in Spokane, Washington, home of the Gonzaga Bulldog basketball team. So little Go plug. Gonzaga. <laughs> Gonzaga. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, um, so here is also a physical therapy school from Eastern Washington University. And uh, my former partner, uh, Todd Pollock, uh, very uh, ingenious young fellow who started doing inventions when he was in PT school. And uh, he was the original inventor of the Theraloop door anchor, which is a little home device people oh use. Goodness. Wow. Put in their door and uh, attached tube and bending for exercise. Oh yeah. my goodness, wow, that's widely used now. Widely used throughout the market. I don't know if you can see that. but that's, mm -hmm. uh, So Todd invented that and then from there he just began doing kind of dining room table little inventions. His wife was an emergency room nurse and um, together they launched a little company known as Therapeutic Dimensions and uh, they were inventing in a wide space um, and it, it started to grow and neither of them were marketers. So uh, I have a journalism degree and uh, I had spent uh, 10 years in journalism and another 10 years uh, in marketing at the local utility company, but always been an entrepreneur at heart. And so uh, they were looking for someone who enjoyed um, demonstrating products at trade shows, traveling to see large customers, and basically running operations. And so I went in as a part owner, and uh, we grew the company, and and we, uh, we actually adopted another branch that did uh, another medical uh, device type company. We did rolling scooters for foot and ankle patients. Oh, yeah. Seen Roller a lot of we uh, we actually purchased the patent, the first U.S. patent on that product, mm. and it became the fastest growing part of therapeutic dimensions. The Pollocks were um, they were Alaska bound, and so at a certain point they said we finished our cabin on the Kenai River and we're ready to uh, to leave the lower 48, and so we decided to break the company up, and they took the roller aid piece. Uh, I took the uh, home exercise product piece, the largest of which was the Range Master shoulder pulley. And so they started in 1990. I joined in 1997. I became the owner in 2005. And since that time, we've grown to the point where we help over 200,000 patients a year with home exercise devices, which we design, import, and manufacture. And, uh, distribute um, all over the U.S. And now, thanks to Amazon, uh, we're in the U.K. and Canada, Mexico, Australia, 
and uh, so it's been quite an adventure for uh, for me. And uh, on the side, I am uh, married. Adrian and I have seven grown children, and uh, I think the count is up to nine grandchildren right now. Oh boy! Um, you need good shoulders for grandchildren, right? Yes, you right. do. Right for sure. <laughs> So, uh, and I'm having lots of fun. I get to travel. I've been been to Asia, been to Europe. Uh, one of my funnest the travels for shoulder pulleys was visiting a group in Sweden, studying uh, physical therapy outcomes for shoulders. And um, gosh, I, I'm just having a great time. And uh, my goal is to work till I'm 85. And uh, so nice. uh, got to keep limber here. Yeah. That's, that's kind of how I... Uh, that keeps my motivation going. Yes, yes, and, and I, yeah, I have some of your uh, your material here, and I think what impresses me is that you put your picture on the front of your marketing material, like you are the man. Yeah, so I, which I, uh, is putting it looks you know, like putting the yourself. The, the detective, Friday. let's find out what's wrong with your shoulder. <laughs> Give me all the usual suspects. <laughs> well, for a time I was an investigative reporter. And so uh, it was a good, it was a good fit for me. But, uh -huh. uh, you know, under underneath it all, I think a, a person has to have like a second skin uh, that says, uh, I'm going to be, in, in control of this outcome. I'm going to have some influence on how my life turns out. And, and I think that really spills over into the ideal physical therapy patient. And I think, Doug, you would agree that uh, when you find that patient that says, we're all in this together, and I've got to do my part as a patient as you guide me along, uh, that's the best patient. And uh, they, they have positive expectation about the outcome. And I think that's really fundamental. Yeah. The, the key with physical therapy is participation. And if you don't participate, there's really nothing I can do. And uh, I, we run into this a lot where we say, I can't force you to do anything. I can't force you to exercise every day. I can't force you to, you know, work your shoulders. It's, it's you and me. We're together, you know, and that's kind of why I go by Coach Doug here. Yeah. Uh, because I, you know, you can't force people uh, like, as you know, I, I still work full time as an acute care therapist. And I see people at their most vulnerable. They got the hospital gown on. They're in their room. You know, we're all masked up with the COVID. And, uh, you know, it's intimidating. Nobody wants to be in the hospital. But, uh, some of them don't want to participate. They're like, no, I'm just going to stay in this bed and I can't force. I, I'm like, you've got to get out of that bed. If, if you're in that bed for 24 hours, it's not going to be good. And uh, a lot of them say, you know, I'm just, I don't need therapy. Just leave me here. And I can't, you know, as heartbreaking as it is, I can't force people out of bed. So it's really a relationship, physical therapy. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I, uh, as a, as a journalist, I read lots of studies on um, what's, uh, what takes place. And I've been following a group out of Vanderbilt University called the Moon Study, a multi-center orthopedic outcomes network. Uh, started out uh, at Vanderbilt in 2004 studying rotator cuff tear. And uh, for, now it's up to 40 surgeons. 16 hospital centers across the country. And uh, they started out asking the question about the most common shoulder injury, which is a rotator cuff injury, and trying to predict what is it that produces a positive outcome. And uh, so they, they surveyed more than 500 patients with shoulder pain. I think it's interesting to note that there are 10 million estimated visits. The CDC estimates every year how many visits. 10 million a year for shoulder pain in the United States. 1 million estimated shoulder surgeries and more than half of those are related to the four tendons called the rotator cuff that hold the humeral head in place on the on the shoulder joint. Mm. They kind of wrap around the, the humeral head like a uh, rubber bands holding a ball in, in a spot. And then when the no what, what made the difference about who had a positive outcome? 
in rehabilitation either non-operative or post-operative. And they ask all the demographic demographic questions. Uh, you know, how old are you? What's your sex? What's your marital status? Height, weight. And then they ask uh, the injury questions. How'd you hurt yourself? What's torn? You know, that sort of thing. And then they ask psychographic questions. And the most interesting predictor of a positive outcome turned out to be at the beginning, did the patient say, I believe the combination of surgery and physical therapy, either or both, will result in a positive outcome? If they thought it could work, then the chances of them recovering were over and above the people who didn't think it could work. Mm. I thought that was the most Very interesting. Interesting telling piece mm. right there. Yeah, right. They, they were agreeable to participate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, so it, it's been an interesting journey uh, here in, in the shoulder world. And we've uh, really concentrated our work at Range Master on preparing products that patients might see initially in a clinic, but if they would take them home and do very simple exercises, most individual items we we have are less than $25. And I think you have a bag of them there, uh, Doug, you're gonna talk about uh, later in your segment at the end of, it's really, um, you know, staying engaged away from the clinic and, and creating some habits at home that are uh, movement in a pain-free range. Right, the home program, very important. Yeah, the home exercise program. Right, yeah. So your your kind of flagship product is the uh, shoulder pulley, right? It's the shoulder pulley. I have one here in a bag um, that isn't set up, but it basically it's a rope and pulley. It's got a bracket that goes over any standard size door at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a matter of the patient as directed by their therapist doing exercises, generally moving in a pain-free range. Uh, really two things happen when patients move uh, using a shoulder pulley. One uh, is just the natural blood circulation that happens. Those tendons are very fibrous and there's not a lot of natural circulation. And when a patient injures themselves, they do what's called subconscious guarding. And they will, by their nature, try to protect that inflamed tissue. So they won't move. Um, a second, and so if we can get them to move just in a pain-free range, we can let the components of the blood do their work of helping flush out all the toxins and help clear up that inflammation. But the second thing is there's, there's a bursa sacs in the shoulder, Bur bursa, you, you know, our grandmothers used to talk about bursitis, uh, you know, it's, mm -hmm. I got bursitis, you know, I can't move. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out it's, it's little places uh, throughout the body where we store synovial fluid. I like to call it the oil for the joints. And uh, the, tin again, the Tin Man's oil can. That's exactly right. Uh, Again, it requires movement to get those things to uh, do their natural chore of lubricating these areas. And so this isn't the big stretch it till you cry kind of a, uh, an exercise, um, unless you know they're at that point in their recovery where the, the therapist or the surgeon thinks that it's appropriate. Um, but yeah, um, it is that gentle movement that I often say it's not the pulley that does the magic, it's the movement. Or as you physical therapists say, uh, the motion is the lotion. Right. And uh, so we're just constantly advocating movement in a pain-free range, stretching in a pain-free range, even light uh, re rehabilitation exercises when appropriate, but not this uh, big Mr. Bodybuilding exercise. These are small muscles that if you're not careful and you overdo it, uh, your big uh, deltoids and trapezius muscles will kick in and try to do the job that the uh, 17 minor, major and minor muscles in the shoulder uh, want to do uh, if, if we can prompt them to rehabilitate themselves. Right, yeah, it's a, 
it goes back to a saying. I actually learned this saying in a orthotics class for the feet, but I think it, it's good for the whole body. Uh, orthotic people say the body reacts to large changes, but responds to small changes. It's kind of an orthotic saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like it for everything. So when you think of the shoulder, the shoulder pulley is, is a small change. It's, you can and you can be as small as you want, and your body's just going to respond to that slowly and gradually. And we know that all joints need movement. Without movement, they they literally freeze. Mm-hmm. And that's the magic of the uh, you know the pulley is that it moves, and that your uh, your cartilage is like a sponge. So when you apply pressure with movement, it 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 uh, gets rid of some of the fluid. And then when you release the pressure, it sucks it in like a sponge. And that's literally where all the nutrition comes from in all, in the whole joint and all the cartilage. So the movement is, is literally, it's necessary. You cannot not have movement. And uh, unfortunately, as we get older, uh, we move from the elbows. So it's like, you know, (laughs) it's like, Oh, I'm, I'm 60. So I'm just going to move my, from my elbows and nobody thinks about the shoulder. <laughs> yeah. It's all like elbows, like a little robot. And, uh, uh that's why, uh, you know, I would love to see a, a shoulder pulley and like every senior just hanging on the door, just leave it there. <laughs> yeah. you know, and just have a Good chair. Stocking there. stuffer. Five for minutes every day. Yes. <laughs> stocking stuffer. Stocking Great. stuffer Great idea. idea. There you go. Thank yeah. Maybe that's that. I'm going to take that back to my marketing department. I I was an advertising major, and I've done a lot of marketing sales. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you. That was was that free, or do I owe you something for that? Uh, well, we'll talk about it. Off okay. <laughs> That is a great idea, a Christmas yeah. stocking stuffer. Yeah, every so look, every senior should have a should pulley. have it. Every in your house, house yeah. just like needs a pulley. Yes. In the academy, we do exercises, so we kind of yes. I, I try to get the arms moving. But uh, a lot of seniors don't have that. But every mm-hmm. senior should do five minutes a day. <laughs> just right. Just sit just in the their chair, wake up routine watch, exactly, you know, and, and watch the TV. It's convenient. It's sitting there. You see it oh, when you're brushing your teeth. You're like, oh, so gotta go easy. do that. Mm-hmm. That's yep. right. You should have it in the bathroom on the bathroom door. We say yes. bathroom, bathroom, brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Bathroom, bedroom, closet yeah. doors, yeah. anything, because that's the visual reminder when you get up and when you go to bed. If yeah. you just do that, it's it's surprising. And I'm glad you mentioned again about seniors, Doug, because um, in our business, um, our average patient is between 50 and 80 years old. Uh, mm. That's when the shoulder fails. It's a little bit hard because a lot of the research is done on athletes mm. uh, because it's done in the a quarterbacks, right? Uh, in university <laughs> setting, baseball throwers, that sort of thing. Yeah. But then when it comes down to who gets shoulder surgery, uh, the joint is wearing out before we are now. And uh, right. doesn't need to wear out completely, but in a lot of cases, people aren't doing the work that they did before. Right. Um, and so they don't necessarily need shoulder surgery they, if they can recover full range of motion. And mm. uh, so that's what we strive to do. We like to get engaged with these patients before they get on a surgical track. Mm-hmm. Um, some people need surgery, but it's just amazing. We have about, uh, on both the surgical side and the non-surgical side, and it's 50-50 as far as who's our patient, in both sets, of, uh, of patients, they say, 90% of them say they're feeling better in their shoulder after having about six weeks of uh, shoulder pulley work. So, I mean, absolutely. Nice. That's movement, that's movement right there. Yeah. And uh, you know, as you know, with the rotator cuff for seniors over the years, you know, you just, it gets worn out. And it's usually the supraspinatus, I'm pretty yeah. sure. It's usually it's the one that kind of mm. tucks, tucks in your humerus, right? It mm. Kind of tucks it in as you're bringing your arm up, right. and and as we call the uh, what do you call that injury? The uh, frozen shoulder? No. Well, no, it's it's the uh, lifting up a briefcase. So if you're reaching oh. forward and you oh. lift up a briefcase or a suitcase, you have this really long lever arm. Yes, yeah. a little teeny, poor little supraspinatus, and you're 70 years old. 
and you lift up that briefcase and snap. Uh, you know, it goes because it's just 70 years old uh, super spinatus. And that's usually the one that goes, unfortunately. That's correct. So like in, in my class, I try not to have people have heavy weights way out there. You know, like that. <laughs> well, that top tendon up there is the one that initiates the lifting. And uh, the other thing, it's it's got an awkward positioning because there is an acromion process on, co coming off the shoulder blade that sticks out there. And when we lift, we, we shove that soft tissue right up in there and that we create impingement in that area and that uh, we get inflammation and then arthritis sets in and all sorts of ugly things can happen. We, we stop moving and, and then it compounds. So, mm. you know, those are, uh, those are the things we're trying to intervene on and, and see if we can help people settle that down so they don't, that shoulder surgery is a painful recovery and it takes about six months to get all the way back. And mm. uh, yeah, I, I really got engaged after my wife had a fall in the bedroom on her way to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and ended up in the surgical uh, unit, getting it repaired. And then I had all this work and then all of a sudden it's right in front of me. And I, I said, oh, this is really important work right here, you know. Absolutely. Hey, can you take a question? I've got a question from the peanut gallery. Well, remembering that I'm not a thera therapist, no. I can start if you can end, end, end for me, Doug. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to take, I'll, I'll, I'll start on it first. And then if you have right. anything to add, we'll add All to right, you. Let's okay, do that. Right? So Jim is asking, Doug, one of my shoulders is higher than the other. My right shoulder, my dominant side is hiked up a bit. Are there any exercises to work on in this situation? So I think he's talking about um, uh, like postural asymmetry, something like that. And uh, uh, I'm actually that way because if when I look in the mirror, I'm like crooked. <laughs> I'm always like crooked. Uh, and I think I've been that way my whole life. Uh, and... Uh, you know, it can be, certainly it could be your spine. That's kind of a structural thing. Then there's really not a whole lot you can do if you're scoliosed. But uh, if you don't have scoliosis, it's a scapular problem, I think. Just, a, you know, one's tucked in a little bit more than the other. And I'm pretty sure the dominant side, if you're an athlete and you do a lot of stuff on your dominant side, certainly there's going to be muscle buildup and there's going to be some problems usually it's lower though i think so his his is higher so his is higher usually if you usually it's like lower i think if you're an athlete well uh, wouldn't it also have just forgive me i'm not a physical therapist but <laughs> if the trapezius because that's kind of my issue with my neck if that muscle's contracted and spasmed then it it's like it's up more than the other side and in yoga in the classes i teach i'm always saying shoulders away from the ears you know and if you're holding some light weights to extend the traps that's not really the shoulder blade but it's all related so i don't know if the traps come into it yeah um if yeah, i could, probably tight do we know what kind of work jim did uh in his lifetime uh because uh, oftentimes these are interesting work related uh questions um and reflect back on you know the habits gained over a lifetime, uh, but I I would say uh, it's not common knowledge, but underneath the scapula are two sets of subscapular muscles, and you can through using uh, tubing and banding exercises do exercise with light resistance. Um, putting the anchor up high and then pulling down, um, strengthen those subscapularis muscles will, which uh, I, as, as Audrey was saying, we always are trying to get people to get their shoulder blades back and down mm -hmm. so they're not impinging. But we can't ignore the posture question here. Um, work uh, causes us sometimes to uh, spend a lot of time with forward head. Um, and the average head weighs about the size of a small bowling ball. And, uh, so think about a bowling ball on a stick, and then you <laughs> tilt it forward, 
right? And now okay. your shoulders start to say, hey, I'm, you, you, your body says, somebody help me here or my head's going to fall right on the table. Because <laughs> your shoulder Give me a little stick. Recruited. Right. And, and everything tenses up and basically, you know, basically what's on, what's, what's on your work table might be influencing it. An interesting note here is this is a similar problem we're starting to see with these young people who play hours of video games. Or on the phone. Oh, yeah. Or are on the phone. Yep. Very, very interesting. Job security for us, Doug, but uh, Audrey and Yoga, uh, they'll, they'll keep us busy, but yeah. it would be better if they if they could get some postural uh, correction. Yeah, Jim says he, uh, briefcase and suitcase carrier. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, yeah. That's why, that's how he got the shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> probably, probably use the same side most often as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I'd say probably the best exercise is, uh, is to get a, get a TheraBand and just, you know, do some pullbacks. Yeah. Even just keep your keep your elbows down and work on some little external rotation and just pull back like that, just to strengthen your scapula. Mm -hmm. And then probably stretch out your, you know, hold on to a chair and uh, pull over like that. It would be good also, just a good, you know, a good stretch of the neck there. We just happen to have all those items in the Range Master Shoulder Kit, Doug. Yes, <laughs> just yes. happened to. I will put the link for that down, and and they can see your your uh, Sergeant Friday. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funny. I actually really like that because you're you're out there. You're like it's not like Range Master. It's like you are the face of Range Master. Well, I I told you I had a little surprise for you, so I'll try to. I think we all ought to uh, have a second skin. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, there think, we go. Yeah. There, there's my range. There's my master. Wow, oh, boy, I love that How, one. What shall I do? I need range someone, master. Someone, someone help with my shoulder. Leaps, I love leaps, that one. Leaps tall buildings in a single bound. Nice. <laughs> with good, good postural awareness. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, actually, Audrey. the Superman pose is a good one. Actually, yes, one of the sure. one of the things I do for my PT is on a ball. You know, the I, the Y, and the T pose. You know, it's like, ooh, I feel those shoulders working. Yeah. yeah. So you're like this, then you're like this. You know, and you're um, kind of leaned over parallel, looking at the floor, and then the T pose. Yep. Yeah. And the chin, the good old chin tuck is good too. You know, mm -hmm. pull that, pull that. Yeah. Okay. If anybody's watching and not sitting up straight, just pull that chin in and lift the clavicle up, and uh, you'll think of your mother saying, sit up straight. Right. That's it. Sit up straight. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Uh, yeah. So we will, uh, I'll put up a link for your uh, Range Master for the kit so you can get all the shoulder stuff in there. I'll, uh, I actually have a link right now below this. Uh, the live stream for your website. So I think we can shop on that. Uh, Thank uh, you, Doug. Nice. So uh, there'll be a link to that. Yeah, a lot of great stuff. Uh, the shoulder is shoulders and knees, really. Uh, even though I've been a therapist for years, just doing this senior website uh, for three years, uh, it, it really kind of strikes home at the, it's how much uh, shoulder and knee problems we have. Well, those are the most used older. joints, right? Yeah, yeah. The most tired joints. I think our, our surveys indicate that outpatient clinics, about 20% of their patient visits involve a shoulder uh, Wow. Issue. Most a quarter of them. It's like our bread and butter as therapists. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, it's like knee, sur knee surgery is really our bed of bread and butter for outpatient therapists. Um, yeah. It's like, yes, oh, another knee. Totally. Uh -huh. Yeah, we can rehab that. Well, Rob, where can they find you uh, on the Internet? Even though I well, did have a link down there, but <laughs> thank you. Uh, this uh, you talked about me putting my face out there. Uh, our website is called my range dot com. Yes. And we have a site for uh, uh, you. When you enter, you can go uh, over to the patient side or you can go over to the therapist side and um, 
some therapists are taking our items and uh, stocking them, but most often people will jump either to our little online store or they'll go to our Amazon store, which I've got to say during the pandemic really sprouted wings, uh, mm -hmm. you know, because everybody was homebound and the UPS man and the FedEx man and, and in our case also Postal Service uh, help people get things. Yeah. And your prices are very reasonable. I'm just amazed at your prices. Uh, I don't know well, how you do it. Volume, I guess. Well, <laughs> volume. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so a lot of great deals on there. Well, thanks, Rob. Really appreciate you joining us here on our show. Uh, very enlightening. And I, I really would urge everybody to get to your site and get some of these. Uh, show the police. Everybody should have one. Mm -hmm. In their Christmas stocking. Right. In their cri Christmas right. stocking. <laughs> ask, San ask Santa to bring you one. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you, Doug. It's it's been fun. Um, you're my kind of people. I can tell. There you go. So we'll have to have you back on again sometime. Nice. And uh, good luck with your range master. It sounds like you're doing great. And uh, we'll put the link for all this stuff below for range master for the kit. And uh, and this appreciate it. Thanks for your time. I know you had a busy day. You're coming on at the end of the day, but uh, we appreciate it. All right. Bye bye. All now. right. Thanks. Right, thanks okay. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. How much? Nice. Time? Oh, it's 37. So let's see. You do here. a quick win? Yeah, I can do a quick win. Or should I do some member wins? Or do we have time for member wins? Uh, let's do a couple of member wins. And okay. then I'll do the quick win. The quick win is going to be, uh, since we had Rob on, will be... Uh, I'm going to do a kind of a, a real time shoulder. shoulder. Pull. Yeah. I have the shoulder pulley thing set up right here. Are you going to it's demonstrate actually, or would I, would I like to demonstrate? Uh, I'll demonstrate it. Cause it's, okay. it's a, uh, You're a it's going to be a five minute show and I'm just gotcha. going to stretch it. Um, gotcha. Uh, okay. Actually if I could, I could instruct you. Maybe that would be good. Should I instruct you? I'll come down and we'll just play it by ear. How about yeah, that? Maybe you come down, you'll be the, the subject and I'll tell you what to do. And it'll be five minutes. Okay. We'll do flexion, abduction. Nice. Isn't it nice how we work this out in real time for you guys? Real time. <laughs> it's real life with real aches and pains. I know. Because we have, we, we're we all busy and we do things. And uh, that's it. Well, right. let's do some, let's do, so we're 38 minutes into the show. So let's do... I'm not sure if people can hang out a little bit longer. We'll do some member wins and then people can check out if they want and catch our, uh, catch our uh, quick win quick a little win. later. Uh, oh, Sandra says, thanks Rob. We'll check out your site. Good. Nice. And uh, oh, Jim likes the information. Perfect. Well, let's do some member wins and then we'll go on to our, Quick win. A lot of winning in this, in this, uh, Elgin It's McCann. all you about wanna, winning. It's all about winning. It's all about winning. You want to win as you get older. So, uh, let me pay, play our member wins. Oh yeah. Member wins. All right. We'll go through these quickly here. Sandra R walked five days and Member wins are just, I just kind of cut and paste really quickly here. So it's, can't, there's only 200 characters allowed in these titles here. So uh, just a little snippet of what people are doing. Uh, walked five days, a total of six miles. Excellent. Four days of fitness ahead, level two, still doing daily knee rehab exercises and out of town for two days. That's okay. But you can take the academy with you wherever you go. We're just, on the, as long as you have the internet, 24 hours a day. Uh, Jim B, a better week. Every little bit helps. Uh, fit-tastic, three functional basic, happy legs, happy arms, fitness head level three, my cord. Uh, Cardi with Lee. Oh, yes, summer sizzle. Oh, that was a good one with Lee. Uh, let's see. That was Jim. I think I... Uh, I think this is also Jim here. 
Keep posting friends, seeing your progress and the way you adjust to change. Plus your kind words are appreciated. Yay. I'm not sure if Jim said that nice. or Tim. One of the guys said that. One of the Ims. One of the Ims. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Myra, beginning to feel better. Here's last week. Walked daily for a total of 22 miles. Did three, 22 miles. Wow. That's a lot of miles. It's more than I do. Mm -hmm. I did three upper body workouts for strength, two 30-minute yoga sessions. There we go, yoga. Yoga. And uh, for flexibility. And, then, and uh, couldn't fit the rest. Excellent job, Myra. Myra's coming back from a little illness this summer. So good for her. Walking is really good. Kathy D., August 23rd to 29th. 6.9 miles of walking, rain and heat until the 28th. And lovely for two days. Kathy's also a walker, too. I should make a walking group, right? We've got all sorts of groups here. I should make a walking group. Sounds uh, like a good we're idea. Making a, we're actually making a weight loss group. Uh, nice. That was Lynn's idea. So uh, if you haven't yet, go vote for the name. It's in the community area. You can vote for the name of the weight loss. Uh, Barb G. Barb just joined us. Uh, actually, Barb is here with us today. Hey, Barb. Hi, Barb. Yes, she says, she says is this live or recorded? Because everything's recorded. But live. Uh, it actually is live. <laughs> uh, mm. This morning, I started with Eldersham Academy and set up my progress log. Excellent. It's good to have mm. a progress log. Looking forward to the many choices of exercises and courses I have access to. Well, we're happy to have you here, Barb. So welcome. Yeah, start easy. Don't start hard. Level one is a good place to start because you never know how your body's going to react. We don't want you to be sore and discouraged. <laughs> so start slow and you'll just feel good. Uh, Tim K. Hey ho, finished out August and greeted September per the following. Uh, just a snippet. He's, he's got a lot of stuff. He's doing Habitat for Humanity and he's doing this trek, trekking poles, which Audrey and I still have to get out and trek a little bit. Mm -hmm. Doing some bench presses and step workouts uh, on the, uh, I think that was on the quick wins. So excellent job, Tim K. Mm -hmm. uh, Diane S. Hi, everyone. Over the last two weeks, I have begun level two of Ready, Set, Go. Good. Level two is good. I have just completed day one to day 11 and really enjoy the variety of exercise sessions the program offers. Excellent job. And we have another one coming out. Should be uh, probably end of the month, uh, beginning of October. I think we'll be ready. Audrey's doing some new yogas, yes. moves, and uh, so we're. I'm doing the in the, in the uh, templates are going up, so it should be live by uh, I think October first. Our new four week program. Uh, oh, oh no, we did our member questions already. That was Jim's, so we don't need to do that. Oh, I think that was it. Yay. Well, let's do our quick win for today. We will do some shoulder pulleys. So I'm just going to come down. And uh, so you guys can check out and go have dinner. And I will record this. Or you could stick around and watch us do all our prep work here. And uh, let's see. So let me get things ready here. We'll do our quick win. I'm going to hide that. And let me... Turn my name off here, and I am going to switch cameras over. I do everything. I'm the chief cook and bottle washer. And there's our pulley, since we have a uh, pulley show today. I think Audrey's going to come down, and she will be our, our model. She has our nice Elder Jim shirt on. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to mic myself up here, but you should still be able to hear me from my computer mic. Get that in. And let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Whoops, I have to quickly change microphones here. So let me change microphones because I need two for Audrey and I. Turn that one off. And here comes Audrey. 
Turn that on. Hi, hon. Hi. Here, let me get you the microphone. Uh, let's see. How about if you be number one? So here's you. There's yours. Please. All this stuff here. I'm sure everybody's going to dinner right now. My. Or bed, depending on where they look. Okay, let me check. I got Oh, legs. look at that. Yeah. Very nice. You like that? Shoulder curling. That's actually a range master shoulder curling. This is everybody. simple. Well, I'm going to start the camera. Actually, let me put the, that in there. Test one, two. Test one, two. Okay, I think we go. I'm going to turn the camera on. Yeah, I think we're going here. Put that there. All right. Let me turn the clock on here because I think we're going to time this. Yeah, we'll probably. It'll be about five minutes. Or maybe ten minutes. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. As long as it takes. Ready. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Quick Win. And in this week's Quick Win, we're gonna do a real-time shoulder pulley exercise. We'll try to do five minutes, nice. well, between five and 10 minutes. We'll see how long it takes. Uh, the shoulder pulley is a wonderful thing. Every senior should have a shoulder pulley in their house. You can hang it on the door. They have a door hook on it. Um, and I'll have a link for these shoulder pulleys down below. Um, shoulder pull, your, your shoulder needs motion. So doing this little five minute, 10 minute uh, shoulder pulley exercise, I think is something we all should do. Mm -hmm. As we get older, what I say is we, we look like robots. So we, we kind of grab things and we clean the dishes and brush our teeth and everything is from the elbows. But believe it or not, you have a shoulder, right? So you can actually reach your arms up and do stuff. So the shoulder pulley is a great, it's a gentle way to increase your range of motion and it will get all the, the fluids mo moving in there. And every joint is like a sponge. So you have cartilage. When you put pressure on the sponge by movement, it squeezes out the fluid. When you take the pressure off, it sucks in the fluid, and the only way for your joint to get nutrition is, is with that fluid. So movement is, it's all about the movement. Mm -hmm. So here, why don't you have a seat here, and we'll start our little, um, our little thing here. So have you ever used shoulder pulleys before? No. Okay. So when you grab a shoulder pulley, basically it goes between your fingers. Usually either your ring finger or your other finger. So you just put it in like that. There you go. And then you can hold this one too. It goes through your fingers. And the shoulder pulleys, you can adjust it by adjusting the knot on the end. It just depends on that. Uh, but basically that looks like a good height. I put the top here to about, uh, I think 89 inches, which is about a standard door. But uh, you can do that there. So let's start our program. Here we go. So for, let's just warm up a little bit. Let's warm up for about a minute. So just pull each one, yeah, up and down. And you want to gradually get into it. Just gradually uh, pull your shoulders up higher and higher over the course of a minute here. How's that feel? Good. Now when you're using the shoulder pulley, just relax your shoulders and just let gravity do the work. So we just want to relax the shoulders, relax the neck. I can definitely feel the difference on my left side. Yeah, because you have a bad yes. left side, right? Yeah. It's weaker. So we're just getting the movement going. We're warming up the joint. Just gradually higher and higher. Let's try another 20 seconds here. We're doing real time here. It's real. So 
So Audrey's just gradually getting higher and higher. She's just warming up the shoulders. And if you have one bad shoulder, you can work that one a little bit more. But Audrey's just kind of doing a symmetric pull, even on both sides. And we're done. All right, let's try a, uh, let's say that you want to work on this shoulder here a little bit. So let's pick a side. I want you to extend this arm out a little bit. And bring your thumb up a little bit. Good. And lighter, lighter grip on there. Yep, no death grip. Good. Now what I want you to do is pull on this one and just bring it up and do the same thing and just gradually get it higher and higher. And this is flexion. So it's always a good idea to have your thumb up. It helps clear your chromion process there. There you go. Just kind of warm it up a little bit. Good. So we're just warming up that shoulder. I hope you know when you get to the top. Like it's pretty good. There you go. Right. Okay. Don't switch your don't keep your shoulders even. So now pull up and see if you can hold it up there for ten seconds. Right? Just hold it back there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Let it relax a little bit. Now let's do it again. Bring your elbow out. Bring it all the way up. Pull it nice and tight. Just want to pull it up to the top. Hold that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Let's try the other shoulder now. So extend this arm out. Good. And just kind of gradually get it higher and higher. Loosen it up, there we go. And certainly if you have pain, you don't want to lift it up all the way, let pain be your guide. In physical therapy, we reduce the pain and then exercise after that. We don't exercise with pain. So now lift it all the way up and see if you can hold it up there nice and straight for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and relax it down. Good. Now extend it out again. Let's try another stretch. So pull it down, stretch it out. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. All right, let's try out to the side now. Actually, not, not to, actually let's do the scaption. So. What Audrey's going to do is hold her arm out, not all the way to the side, but she's going to hold it a little bit in, and we call that scaption. So it's a little more natural. And I'll try pulling down in that motion there, just kind of stretch it out a little bit. So she's not all the way out to the side, she's just in a little bit. That's more of a natural plane for your scapula. There you go. Now pull it up all the way and hold it up there, and just hold it up. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's try the other side now. Hold your, extend your other arm out. So she's putting her other arm out. Okay. Just about 30 degrees off from the side. And just pull it up a couple times and then all the way up. And then stretch it out all the way up. Yeah. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, we did that. How about if we do, um, let's do a little bit of internal rotation. So I think you're going to have to, uh, let's see, how about if you stand up and hold on to this, and we want to bring, actually, let's let go of that, and we're going to bring this behind your back and hold it back there. So she's going to do a little bit of internal rotation. It's kind of hard to hold it back. Well, am I holding it like the way I was, or just any which way? Like, should I hold it up? Your, yeah, your thumb up would be fine. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Let's see, like this. Okay. So now, <clears throat> now try to pull, and you want your arm to come up your back. So 
Pretend you're scratching your back with your hand. There you go. Now just pull it up, not too much, and then down. Just slowly. Just, we're working on internal rotation here. So she's pulling down, and it's kind of like you're trying to reach for your, your bra strap or something. Just kind of reach up there in that position. And she's just loosening it up. Good. Let's pull up and hold it for 10 seconds. Pull it up and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's try the other side. So she's going to switch sides. It's kind of a little coordination. So you have to kind of coordinate yourself with your hook, depending on where yeah. it is. This is this is kind of hard to do sitting down. It's a little better to stand right. up. So just kind of pull your arm up there. So she's doing your other arm, just kind of loosening it up into internal rotation. Just reaching up the back. Higher and higher. And then just try to stretch it out for 10 seconds. There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. There you go. And you can sit down. So getting behind the back takes a little bit of. Uh, Takes a little bit of coordination. You might have to grab it a little bit differently to get your arm around the back to do your internal, to choke yourself. internal rotation. Uh, that mm -hmm. there you go. Nice. How'd that feel? Warmed up your soul a little bit. No, actually, yeah. that was probably closer to ten minutes. So that is a real good little routine to uh, just a simple little routine to stretch out your shoulders mm -hmm. and. I think everybody approaches it a little bit differently, but basically we did some flexion and we did some abduction, a little bit more of scaption. I think for seniors, probably scaption is a little better. Uh, with your arm out a little bit, maybe 30 degrees out from the back. And then certainly internal rotation. We did more external rotation, but maybe we can do that in another video. Okay. I didn't want to go too much over 10 minutes. Nice. There you go. All warmed up. I feel Feeling great. great. Yeah. With our, our uh, shoulder pulleys. That's a <laughs> real time um, little uh, lumbering exercise for the shoulders. So, just there's a link for these below. I think it's a great idea for everybody to have some shoulder pulleys in their house. Just hook it on the door, it's there. You can put a chair under it if you want and, and uh, you know, spend five minutes a day. Doing your shoulder pulley, and uh, you can just do if you if you want to, you can just do regular, just up and down. If that's all you do, and that's perfect, but you can do a little bit more, like we did in this video. That's it. Thanks a lot for joining us with this quick glimpse. I'll see you next time. See you next time. All right. Cut. A little over ten minutes. All right, thanks for that. I'll wrap up the show here. Let me turn my camera around here. Where's my camera? Because I do everything. There I am. And the dog's trying to come in the room. But uh, good thing Audrey's taking the dog out if they don't bark. Uh, let's see. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. It was a lot of fun. I will uh, leave the link down below as the dog barks here. I will leave the link for the uh, shoulder pulley below this video or a link to get to uh, the uh, Range Master website. And uh, yeah, I recommend everybody get a shoulder pulley. It's just a, it's like one of those necessary things that everybody should have in their house. Uh, thanks everybody in Peanut Gallery, uh, Sandra. See you, Sandra and Jim. Oh, Jim left already, I think. Went to have some dinner. But these are all recorded. I will record the quick win and put it in the quick win area. Oh, that was a lot of fun today. 
and at the beginning of September. So we're starting the month. Uh, the, the new four-week program should be out, I would say, at the end of the month. So we'll have another one for you to go. But I appreciate everybody being a member. And as always, you guys keep me going. And I will keep you going. <laughs> and uh, let me find my outro. There it is. I have to put my button on the outro so I can go out with the outro. But uh, hey, everybody stay active, stay strong, and I'll see you next time.